creating reels on social media in 2022, you're severely disadvantaging your business, your ability to grow and make money. Instagram reels have been around for years now, and there is no denying its impact and its ability to help businesses grow exponentially, generate sales, reach new audiences, so much so that Instagram reels are now being pushed across to Facebook. And if that is enough, Instagram themselves, head of Instagram, Adam, have announced that Instagram is no longer a photo sharing platform. They are and have explicitly stated they are prioritizing and pushing video content. A latest change that has supported this is their changes to how our feed looks. So they are now pushing the content out to a nine by 16 ratio, just like on TikTok. So there is less white space. There is less focus on the captions. It's all about the video visual content. But we are going to teach you how to create a successful reel in a very simplified way and not just talking about how to create it and how to put it together but the strategic elements behind video marketing because that is essentially what reels are there vi it's video marketing there's a beginning there's a middle there's an end there's so much behind it than just putting a bunch of photos together um, chopping it up making it go really quick syncing it with music there's so much behind it that is involved in creating a really successful reel. So the first element of a successful reel is the strategy behind video marketing. With the rise of TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and now Reels on Facebook, it is becoming clear that users' attention spans are becoming shorter. So videos need to be more purposeful. They need to have a clear message, a clear call to action, and they need to grab the attention of users within the first three seconds. So this is a big part of how you want to structure and think about creating your video content. You want to make sure it's entertaining, engaging, and it requires a more in-depth strategy than, like I said before, putting together a bunch of videos um, and putting a sound over it. The magic behind creating a reel starts with how you decide to develop it. And this is what we call storytelling. Um, so the first step you want to, before you even get the content or start putting it together, the first step you want to start thinking about what is the purpose of this reel? What story do I want to tell? How are you going to provide value? And how does this align with my target audience? You want to think of these things before you start getting the content or putting it together and adding music and creating it in the Instagram app. Your content is what matters. And People interact with content that aligns with them, that uh, seeks to solve their needs or add value. So you want to be thinking of how you are going to communicate this and describe it through storytelling, whether it's photos, videos, music, or anything like that, the text on the screen, you want to understand and create the purpose first and what emotions, feelings, actions you want people to take as a result of this Instagram reel. In this video, I'm going to be using an example of a business that we are going to walk through, explain, um, and create a reel for. This business is an accommodation business in Queensland, and they offer that they're a farm stay. So they have accommodation, but what makes them unique is their farm stay experience, the interaction with animals. And the reel that we want to create is to showcase this experience and have the video immerse users in the experience um, to show the uniqueness of it and how it differentiates from other businesses. So once you have thought about the overall purpose, how you're going to add value, this doesn't have to be an in-depth thing where you get a storyboard, you write it all out on a piece of paper and you jot down notes. Just having a think, maybe writing down some key points, it doesn't have to be overly complicated, but you want to make sure you're thinking about why you're creating it because then that's going to help you communicate the experience so once you've done that now you're going to source the content whether you have the content already or you go out and take it create it whatever you want to do once you have sourced the content the third step is the real building process but before we jump into creating the real there are two platforms that I highly recommend editing the content on. The first way is through the Instagram app. Now, this is a very simplified way to do it, um, doing it all within the app, creating it, editing it, posting it. However, I always recommend the second option, and that is InShot, a video editing app 
that gives you more ability to customize and import music, edit it with the music. And I'll show you when we get into it, but I highly recommend downloading the InShot app, both available on Android and Apple. But we'll start with editing the reel in InShot first. So this is what the InShot app looks like. This is where you can import all of your photos and videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select everything I want to put in the reel. So this is where the strategic element behind the reel building process comes into play. So like I was saying, I want to create a reel that goes through the experience of the, the farm stay experience, in particular, the animal feeding experience. So what I want to go through, I've got all of these videos that a business would be able to take and capture themselves. And I want to take all of these videos, which together are a couple minutes long, and I want to create a 15 to 20 second reel. So with these videos, I want to think about the experience as a whole. So speaking to Amber, the owner of this business, she was describing this experience and how she would take all the families down and the dogs would leave them down to the animals as they are working dogs and that's what they do. So I kind of want that to be the first the intro of the video. I kind of want that to kind of set the scene and then go into the animals. But basically how you can reorganize this is if you hold down on each of the videos, it'll pull them up like tiles. And this is where you can hold down and drag the video. So I want to, before I start editing and cutting down each of the videos, I want to put it in an order that describes the experience. I'm pretty happy with the order here. So now I am going to start cutting them down. Like I was saying before with the movement, you want, like for example here, you could start the video here, you could split it. So you've got all of these options here. So if I put the split under the play button right in the middle of my screen, you can see I can split the clip and delete the first section where it's not really, nothing's really happening. And I could start the video here. And I, I could do that, that whole video. But what you want to do, you want the first three seconds to be the most captivating. I kind of want to start it where there is a subject matter in the video and there's movement. So instead of, again, starting it with one dog, I want to make sure I've got it, start the video where I can kind of start to see all three dogs starting to run. This is where I want maybe a couple of seconds of them running down. I'm going to split it again and kind of delete this part. Like there's no point including the dogs running all the way down because you want to keep it short, sharp and to the point. Um, so I'm kind of going to cut all of these videos up and have the videos where the animals are in the forefront of the video and the story I'm creating. It seems very tedious, but once you do this over and over again, the quicker it's going to be, you're going to understand what does really well, what's something that you always want to include or focal point. So I'm just splitting it, deleting the section I don't want, splitting it, deleting it. You can also grab the ends of it to kind of drag it in to make it smaller, shorter, um, can do so much with it. And another important thing to note is because of the ratio of Instagram reels and Facebook reels and TikToks, you want it to be in portrait. So you don't want to be filming videos in landscape. Otherwise you're going to have black space at the top and bottom of the photo. So I'll show you an example. So for example, I've added in a landscape photo, whether it's photo or video, as you can see, there's a lot of dead space uh, at the top and at the bottom. And this again, isn't the most visually appealing thing, but if you are reusing old content, there is a way to get around this. So what you want to do is go to the canvas. So it's the very first um, option at the bottom left, click on canvas, and then you want to zoom in. So you can still use that photo but have it full screen. Another important tip is to go to the volume of each of these videos and turn the volume down because we don't want any of the audio to come through on top of the music. So I've gone ahead and cut it down and got the key 
points and parts of each of the videos. And this is why I like InShot over Instagram because I can cut it down and then put the music on top to see how it goes with the music before I finish editing it. The great thing about InShot is that you can import videos and audios from your phone onto the InShot app. Whereas if you have found audio that you like on Instagram and maybe only a small snippet of the song, um, maybe you find an audio that you really like and it's only seven seconds. So you can only create a seven second video along with it. Whereas we can go and find the, the, the music, screen record it and use as much as we want. So let's head over to Instagram. This is where we can go through our reels and yep. find music inspiration. Or if you are constantly going through Instagram and, and finding video or audio inspiration, you can save it and then refer back to it. So heading to the saved section of our audios I can have a look at some audio that I've saved previously and go through and see if any of that align with the kind of experience and story I'm telling. So once you've found the audio that you want to use you can either screen record the audio that you have found on Instagram but like I was saying before if it's too short you can go to YouTube or Spotify, screen record the section of the song that you want to use and then import it into InShot. Mainly for iPhone users um, this is really compatible for you um, is to swipe down at the top right of your screen and click on the screen record button which is right there. Once I'm screen recording, I can screen, I'll start screen recording and then I'll play the song. Then I'll stop re screen recording and import that video into InShot. So once I've screen recorded, I can then import the audio. So I'm going to go where it starts. So then I'm going to click on it and click on the volume button. This is going to give me the ability to extract the audio from the screen recording. So then I can just overlay the audio on top of my video and not have this video behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and click extract audio. And as you can see, the purple audio line is what we are going to put on top of our video. So I wanna hold it down just by holding it down and dragging it. And I wanna make sure I am not overlapping the audio on top of the original video because then when I go to delete the video, the audio will go with it. So just making sure that it's not attached to this video. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Sometimes it does this, it stuffs up. So I'm going to go click on music and find where it's put it. So it's put it way behind. You just usually have to click on once you've deleted the Screen recording, you'll have to click on music and then find where it is and drag it to the beginning of your video. And then, so this is, I haven't finished editing, but this is kind of what we've got so far. So we can get the perception of how quick or how slow these video recordings are. So baby, come with me. So already the intro, although before it didn't seem too long, but to me now it seems a bit too long. Basically now what I want to do is edit it up a bit more, cut it down, shorten it to make sure that it is short, sharp, to the point. It's not too long, not too short. And some quick tips is, um, yes, you can split it, but like I was saying before, you can drag it down um, as well as let's say you have a really long clip and every part of it is really important, but it goes for too long. What you can do is you can click on speed and kind of speed it up. Another thing you can do is at the bottom of each of these clips, you can kind of see a, um, a black line in a, a square circle. So this is where you can tap on it. And baby, come with me. So baby. Add a transition between each of the video clips. So this would be a great way to spice up a video that just has a montage of um, photos. So let's say you're a restaurant and you've got all of your menu items. It'd be good to have a quick collage just flicking through it like a, like a menu book. So I'm going to go ahead, edit this down and show you the final product. So once you've cut it down to a length, you're happy with it all, what you want to do is then click on the X above the water, InShot watermark at the bottom right hand corner. It will prompt you with remove watermarks and ads. Click remove this once for free. 
I've removed this hundreds of times and I've never been asked to pay. Once you're happy with this, you've gone through, um, you just want to click on the top right and click save. So you want to make sure it's movie format. Resolution is 1080p. So we can save this. You may get an ad, click out of the ad. So once you have the video saved to your camera roll and you're ready to post it, you want to head to your Instagram profile and click on the plus button at the top right and hit reel. This is where you can create reels. So this is where you can film the reel in real time, or you can upload a video saved to your camera roll. But before you want to do that, you want to make sure that the length fits the video that you're going to upload. So at the left hand side, you'll see the music note. And then under that, you'll see 30. So you want to make sure that you, if you've got a 60 second video or a 49 second video, you're making sure that you're clicking either 60 or 90 seconds. So it fits in with the time length. Mine's under 30. So I'm going to click 30 and then I'm going to upload the video. Oh, baby. Once I've added it, I can then click on next. So this is where you can add text. You can spice it up and add context to it. This is where you can have fun. It's just like Instagram stories, being able to customize everything. So when you're editing the text and moving it around, you'll see that it brings up these yellow lines on the side. You want to keep it within the frame. You don't want it in the yellow section. And when you scroll down, you want to make sure it stays above the blue line at the bottom and the blue line at the top. But a way to kind of make sure that your text stands out is to add your custom and branded colors to the photo. So what you want to do is you want to create a branded color wheel, whether it's in Canva or Word, save it as an image. What you want to do is go to your camera roll and find the image that has your branded colors in it and copy the image. Then you want to head back to the Instagram reel, tap on the screen and it will tap again and click on the paste button and it's going to paste the photo in here. What you then want to do is click on the text and then at the very top, you'll see a color wheel, click on the rainbow color wheel. And then at the bottom left, you'll see a little color dropper. So yeah, you can either pick from any of the, the fonts and colors here, but you want to make sure it's aligns with your brand, increase brand awareness, brand recognition. Um, you want to use your specific branding colors. So you want to click on the color dropper and then hover it over the color you want to select. And then once you've added all of the branded colors to your text, you can go ahead, hold down on the photo and delete it, put it at the very bottom in the bin and delete it. And it will still keep the branded colors in the text. And there's so much to do to play around with the text, you know, adding the background to it to make sure it stands out. But this, this will come along with just playing around with everything you can do on Instagram stories and Instagram reels. One thing that I do want for this story, I don't want this text to be visible throughout the story. I kind of just want it as the intro. So what I want to do is click on the text at the bottom left. Um, and as you can see, you can see a little bar that highlights where the text is showing. So I just want to drag the end of it so the text only is visible for the first couple of seconds. So I want to do that for both of them. So now you can see as the Instagram reel goes through, the text isn't visible throughout the entire reel. It's only at the very start. You can play around with the length, where it's positioned, everything like that. There's some quick tips and tricks to make your reel branded. So once you're happy with this, you click next, and this is where you can add your text, add your cover photo, everything like that. Please note when you add your cover photo, you can choose from a picture within the, the reel, or you can click on the add from camera roll and add a specific photo. Um, it's really important to note that this is what the cover photo is going to look when it's in full view. However, on your profile grid, this is what it's going to look like. So you can actually drag it around to make sure that the focal point is in the image 
both when it's in the real section and on the profile grid of your Instagram page. So hopefully that goes through the basics of how to create an Instagram reel in InShot and the strategy behind creating a reel that's really entertaining, has a purpose. There is another way to create an Instagram reel, which is through Instagram itself. But like I was saying before, you don't have the same ability to import your own music. You can only use what's on Instagram, as well as you don't have the ability to split clips you can only top and tail it so for example you go to create a reel you can again create the reel in here so take photos and videos and kind of do it like that or import a video that you want to edit so if you would import this video all you can do is top and tail it and take a section out you can't necessarily like split it up and find like five great videos in it you have to kind of import it five times and, and then the rest is kind of the same you would then search for saved music or audio or search for your own and I know some businesses have issues being able to use audio they're very limited to what they can use and the reason behind that is because of your business category now, there is a loophole and way around it. So creators and entrepreneurs do have access to all audios. For example, if you're creating an Instagram story, let's say you're creating an Instagram story and you're adding music. Let's say I want to search for a specific song. No results found. That's because our Instagram is currently... Let's have a look. If you go click edit profile under your Instagram bio um, and scroll down to the bottom, you can see our category is education. But if we were to go and change this to entrepreneur, um, and if entrepreneur doesn't accurately describe your business and you don't really want this shown, you just select done and then click on profile display at the very bottom and hide display, display category label. So let's now see if we can create an Instagram story and search for specific music, which we can. So now I can add any music I want. So hopefully, again, that's another very helpful tip and trick that you can use to level up your business and be able to create the most entertaining on-brand content for your audience. As you can see, there is a lot that goes into creating an Instagram reel and they're constantly evolving and changing. For example, Instagram are currently bringing out a new feature called Instagram reel templates, which allows you to create a reel within seconds. So let's take the example of the cafe and that you have found someone that has done something similar. They have taken a bunch of photos and timed it well in really short, sharp snippets that sync with music. So instead of having to replicate that yourself and cutting down the videos and making sure it syncs up with the music, you can take that video, use it as a template and just import your photos and videos into the time slots that they have and create a reel within seconds. So you take out their content, put your content in, but use their timing and their music to create a really great reel within seconds. So Instagram is constantly making these new improvements and making it a lot easier for businesses to create this content as this is where the platform is heading to. So if this is something that you're interested in in continuously learning and learning about the new features and how to use social media to benefit your business, make sure you follow us on social media and keep up to date with the latest blog posts on our website as we are always staying up to date with the latest um, social media industry updates and we will always be the first to bring it to life we'll show you how to do it we'll tell you what it means for your business um, so you don't have to keep up to date yourself i hope this has helped and if you create any reels make sure you tag us so we can see what you've created mm -hmm.